up here. He was positive for Gervine. Let's see if he's positive for anything else. What do you got? He was positive for um, germadine, and that's found in Paul's hellebore. He low blood pressure. Okay, so let's see. Anybody else here think it was the nightshade? The symptoms contradict each other. Um, well, some of the symptoms for nightshade are like um, cold sweat and, um, well, for example, cold sweat and for uh, heat stroke, you don't, it, you sweat a lot, but not it's not cold, and he didn't have any cold sweat. Burning mouth and nose. Like, How did you find out? He was on, not on after we interviewed Arthur at the ER, he um, said his no, nose and mouth burned on, um, burnt, burned like fire. Okay. It's good. My family eats a lot of organic food because it's good for you. What we did is we did all the research for this case and all the we worked with the team of um, programmers over at UMass that designed Rashi um, to input all of this information, all of our research into this program that the kids are now working on. And we had a lot of work to do in terms of thinking about this age group. It's kids ages 11 through 14 that are doing it this summer, but also college students work on these cases as well. So it's hard to find a balance between how much research we actually think they're going to be able to do you guys to share information via the computer so you can just get in and see what people have rejected on the computer and what they have accepted so that we can start making more progress in this getting towards the final decisions we may not all agree in the end but we should all be able to have good discussions based upon the sharing of the information. I looked around and I talked to Tomas and he said that he put something weedy inside his food. So I looked around and seen what, um, I saw what kind of plants were around the area and the kind of plants that were around there were um, purple. Nightshade. And there were nightshade. And then I found out that he had all the symptoms of Honestly, we didn't think this age group was going to be able to solve this case. We were excited for them to get the experience, to get the hands-on experience of doing the research themselves, but didn't really expect any major conclusions or any honest like delving into the research. And I just got really excited because I just listened to an 11-year-old tell his teacher that he ran a blood test for gervine, which is a component of false hellebore, a plant that he found in at the scene that he thinks poisoned his patient. And that was just so impressive. Like I went running out of the classroom and said, Merle, Merle, listen to what this 11-year-old just said. Um, was this fun? It was because then you feel like a real person from CSI, like CSI Miami, CSI New York. It makes you feel like you're smart. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs>